Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can disable Windows Defender in Windows 11. Now a lot of people have been experiencing issues with this as they either don't know how to disable the software in the first place or they disable Windows Defender using a bunch of different methods but it either causes problems with their computer or it just ends up being reactivated by Microsoft. So what you need to do to disable this and to stop it from re-enabling itself is first head over to your start menu and you need to search for Windows Security and then we're just going to head over to this Windows Security tab. Then click on the virus and threat protection inside of here. Come down into manage settings beneath virus and threat protection settings and we're going to come all the way down to tamper protection and we need to turn this setting off as by disabling this it will allow us to make the changes we need to disable Windows Defender without the program interfering with what we are doing. So once you've disabled tamper protection we can then head out of this window and we're going to head back over to the start menu and this time search for registry editor and come over to the registry editor tab. Inside of here you need to come over to H key local machine and expand this folder inside of software then come down and we're looking for a folder called policies and you need to expand this policies folder here inside of the Microsoft folder and you should see a folder called Windows Defender and this is the folder we're going to be working inside of so we just need to select this folder and there shouldn't be anything inside of here other than this default file so we just need to right click on this white space here and come over to new and we're going to select dword 32 bit value and we need to give our file a name so we're just going to call this one disable anti spyware and just make sure to capitalize the start of each word and we can hit enter on our keyboard and we're going to double click on this file and give it the value data of one and then we can press OK to save these changes. Now some people in some videos will tell you that just by adding this one entry it will be enough to disable Windows Defender but you will find that this is not enough and some of the features will still be running on your computer if you just enter this one single entry. So we need to add a few more inside of here to completely disable Windows Defender. So we're going to right click again and come over to new and select dword 32 bit value and this one we're going to give the name of disable antivirus. Once again make sure you capitalize the start of each word and hit the enter key and once again we're going to double click on this and give it the value data of one and hit ok then we're going to right click again come over to new dword 32 bit value and this time we're going to type in disable special running modes and hit enter and double click it once more change the value data to one and hit ok and once again come over to new dword 32 bit value and type in disable routinely taking action and hit enter and then we're going to double click on this file and change the value data to one and the last one we're going to add inside of this folder is we're going to right click and come over to new dword 32 bit value and we're going to give this the name service keep alive and once again we can hit enter and we're going to give this one a value data of zero and we can hit ok now that's all of the files you need to add inside of this windows defender folder and the next thing we're going to do is right click on this windows defender folder over here come into new and select key and we're going to give this the name real hyphen time space protection and hit enter and then we're going to select this folder and we're now going to add some files inside of here by right clicking and coming into new selecting dword 32 bit value and the first thing you need to type in here is disable behavior monitoring and hit enter and double click on this file and we need to give this the value data of one and hit ok and we're going to right click again come over to new dword 32 bit value and give this the name disable on access protection and hit ok and then we can double click on it and give it the value data of one and hit ok and next thing we're going to come over to new dword 32 bit value and give this one the name disable scan on real time enable and hit enter and double click on it and give it the value data of one and the last thing we're going to include inside of this folder is you're going to right click come over to new dword 32 bit value and we need to type in disable real time monitoring and hit enter and we're going to also give this the value data of one then we're going to right click on the windows defender folder again come over to new and select key to create a new folder and we're going to give this one the name signature space update and hit enter and then right click in this white space and select new dword 32 bit value and you're going to give this the name force update from mu and hit enter and we're going to give this one the value data as zero and hit ok and lastly we're going to come back over to windows defender and right click come over to new key and you need to give it the folder name of spynet and hit enter come over to the spynet folder and right click on the white space select new dword 32 bit value and we're going to type in disable block 
at first scene and hit enter and then we're just going to give this the value data of one and hit ok and that's it guys you can now close out of the registry editor and you'll need to restart your computer for all of these changes to take effect and it may seem a bit excessive having to do all of those steps but that's how you completely disable windows defender from your computer now everyone is going to have different reasons for wanting to uninstall this for some people perhaps it just takes up too many resources and they want to declutter their computer or perhaps you just want to use another antivirus instead or you're happy to use your computer with no antivirus which i don't recommend by the way but whatever the reason this is how you completely remove the software from your computer and if you ever want to re-enable it again you would just need to come back over to the registry editor and we can delete all of the entries we have just added in this video if this tutorial did help you then please consider dropping a like and subscribing until next time